everybody. Uh, this is the first recording I'm doing for YouTube direct on the body, mind, and spirit uh, from Anita Hamilton uh, to show about just during this time uh, from my experiences, uh, just in terms of like trying to mobilize our body and keeping yourself I share from my experience uh, how I've been dealing with my challenges uh, to uh, keep my body fit and dealing with my transition uh, for physical fitness. I've been a plus size woman all of my life basically and I recently had to deal with getting my body prepared to deal with my mobility restoration. I, uh, from 08 to uh, 2020 now, <laughs> was dealing with uh, degenerating uh, mobility issues with arthritis, severe bilateral arthritis, and uh, which went through several stages. My right knee went out first, then my left knee, uh, from 08 to 2014 uh, and where the left knee ended up having to compensate for the right knee and to the point that there was no cartilage in either knee and I ended up on a walker uh, was supposed to be in a wheelchair insurance wouldn't pay for it um, and then when I moved back to Boston they said it was a good thing I never got in that wheelchair because if I had I would have gradually degenerated my muscles and would have never been able to be where I am today, which is that I can stand up and walk because I have had double knee replacement and I can now walk. But what did it take to get here? It took commitment, it took dedication. It took taking myself from 400 plus pounds to get to where I am today, uh, which is a roughly about 270 right now. And my goal is to still get down to uh, 180, and I'm gonna get there. But how do you, with your mind, get yourself to get that breakthrough from 400 plus to get there? All things are possible through Christ who strengthens you. And you have to take it one step at a time. So I begin to remember that when my mother was first combined to a wheelchair and I came back from college, and I would jokingly initially try to joke with her about doing finger exercises in her wheelchair. And that came back to my memory. And, um, and I just gradually started doing what I could and did not beat up on myself. And then when I moved back to Boston in 2016, I was determined that despite all of my failures in the past, that I was going to get to the point that I was going to get this knee surgery, that I was not going to let no doctor, no man, nobody tell me that um, it wasn't going to happen for me. I said, because all things are possible through Christ who strengthens me. And I was going to turn my life around. I made some poor choices, but I was going to turn things around. So this is how I did it. I did it through exercise. So one thing that I did was I started doing what I call car size and sitter size. Initially when I had my car, I used to, at every red light, I would, every time I was stuck in traffic, I would literally sit at my car and do things like this, boom, 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 boom. I would bicycle, things like this. And then as a substitute teacher when I lost my job at um, my full-time private Christian school when they laid me off and I started subbing, and I ended up subbing at the PE classes. Instead of doing the PE substitutes warm-ups, I did my own. And I told the kids, okay, you guys got to help me because I got to get this weight off. And I need to get an hour's worth of exercise. So if I had seven classes, I did five minutes exercise every class. Right? All right. So that's what I did. So we did scissors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. I had them doing things like this. And boy, when their arms were getting tired, they wanted to quit. It was amazing. All right? So I'm going to come back to you and show you a whole five-minute workout with different sitter 